If he has Shraddha, that I want your Bhakti, and then he is qualified. And he is born now. She's asking for being a Shiksha Guru, what qualification? Oh, being to know all the Shastra more than Diksha Guru. Then he will be Shiksha Guru, otherwise, not. All the qualities what has been told in Srimad Bhagavat here and there, the smart guru, all should be in Diksha. Sanatan Goswami is Diksha Guru and Rupa Goswami is Shiksha Guru. You should consider how they are. Both same category. But Rupa Goswami, by the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is giving more superior. So Shiksha Guru will be like in his life. Narad Muni Bajai Bina
said, you should note down that. If a person is ignorant and he is doing activities that which what has been born, then it will be not Vaishnava Parat. But knowingly if he is doing, then Aparat. What has been told in Shastra? That you should chant name and do Hakti. Giving of world red, uh, red, worldly relationship. Moh Maya Mamata. And then chant name, that will give bhav. But that class of high class of sadhan like but if anyone is finishing his Ashakti stage even and he has entered or entering in a Rati stage even that there is something that he again fall down, may fall down. Abhi, Mukta naam api, janti punar vashanam. If the high class of Rishi like Bharat Maharaj, get up all hold your atta uh, attachment world left his father mother wife children wealth reputation and position also and he was doing bhajan in this stage of ashakti and then he was entering in rati some rati was also in him but he was attached in a deer, cough, and what they do. His three lives were gone. So be careful from beginning. For Kanishta Dikari, not but Madhyama Dikari. They can have affection to all, but no attachment. Attachment only in the book. Lord's feet of very high class of devotees like Guru, Shiksha Guru, and to Krishna and Mahaprabhu, Radhika, attachments should be given. Otherwise, they will work cheating. So you should tell in brief, for in five minutes, the life history of Bharat Maharaj. And tomorrow we will discuss. Elaborate. And I will ask questions from them. Om Ajnanam Timarandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksuram Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guruvenama Srila Gurudev has ordered me to give a brief summary of the life and character of Bharat Maharaj. As Srila Gurudev said, Bharat Maharaj was a very advanced devotee, completing his stage of Ashakti and entering into Bhava Bhakti. He was the One eldest. Thing I want to also want to tell you. If any Vaishnava is sincere, very sincere, and his bhakti really, he cannot fall down. In real sense, he will. Only some time, it will be like covered. Bhakti. I have seen so many. Apit said, Jesu Duraja. Doing bhajan and they become lusty somewhat. And 
they went with any lady. But they were sincere from beginning. And that is why it is reconciled that Krishna has inspired him to be like that, to give shiksha to others. So don't think Bharat Maharaj was only to teach us that we should be very, very careful. Bharat Maharaj was the eldest of the 100 sons of King Rishabdev, who is the incarnation of God, and he would instruct his 100 sons about giving up the animal propensities and coming actually to the human form of life which is meant for self-realization. He ordered his other 99 sons to follow and worship his eldest son Bharat. Generally, bhakti does not entail having the father tell the other sons to worship the, another member of the family. But in this case, the eldest member of the family was a pure devotee. So, Rishabdev is the, himself the incarnation of God, and he ordered his son to become the next king and his other sons to oh, follow him. Where you have read that uh, his father Rishabdev ordered his 99 sons to obey Bharat. Uh, it was in Prabhupada's summary of the... Uh, it is like so? Yeah, I think I it's a verse it's also. also. <coughs> I cannot see. Because there are no Jogendra. How he tell? We will tell to no Jogendra. To serve. Hat Maharaj. Some sons are Katriya and some are Brahmin. So Brahmin don't serve Katriya. Nine, nine Katriya. Huh? Oh, it may be bad because he was bad. But no Jogendra. They are also Mahapatva. So, we should reconcile all this. If he has written, what sense has written, you will have to see. So, uh, Bharat Maharaj became the king of the entire earth planet, but because of his elevated stature, he was not at all attached. He had five sons, and after some time, he trained his sons properly and then gave them... Oh, who five sons? Bharat Maharaj had five sons. Oh, is it written in Bhagavatam? Yes. Oh, I'll have to look after. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard. No? Uh, today you should see and show me. Okay. So he was very renounced and he gave up his family and uh, went to the forest. He went to Pulaha Ashram. As Srila Gurudev said, he was coming in the stage of Bhav Bhakti. And it's stated in Shastra, Karmadi Nirdahati Kintu Chabhakti Bhajan. The devotee has no karmic reaction. So Bharat Maharaj's apparent fall down was just to teach us that even if we think we're becoming very advanced, we should be careful. He was in Pulaha Ashram. He was engaging in great austerities and devotional practices. And he was coming to such an advanced stage that he was actually beginning to experience the asta sattvika bhavs. And he would be weeping and trembling and experiencing the beginning ecstasies of the stage of bhava bhakti. He also received Gayatri mantra um, and he would, from the Rig Veda, he was chanting his mantras. So, and he was worshipping the Lord of the Sun by this mantra, Lord Narayan. So, although he was very elevated, he wasn't completely perfect. He wasn't at the stage of matured bhav or going into prem. And so, one day, after he had taken bath in the Gandaka River, and after he had said his mantra, at that time he heard the roar of a lion, and he saw a she-deer, a pregnant she-deer, who was running very fast in fear of that lion. So she jumped over the river, and in her fright, she 
gave birth and the baby fell out of her abdomen into the river waters and she reached the other side in in flight the baby fell she reached the other side and because she was in such a state of shock she died and the baby was floating in the river so a devotee is by nature compassionate so a devotee will pick up the deer and save him rather than have him drown but the mistake made by Bharat Maharaj was that he not only showed him compassion at that moment, but he kept him very carefully in his ashram and took care of him, thinking that it was his duty to care for that deer. Gradually, he became more and more absorbed in the deer, and although previously his mind was unagitated and very peaceful, now his mind was becoming very agitated and restless. The deer became his constant companion, and he was always making sure the deer was with him, that the deer was all right, and he thought that the deer was just like a prince, and the deer loved him very much. So he was always associating with the deer. He gradually gave up his rules and regulations, his mystic yoga practice, his devotional practices, and one day, gradually, he got old, older, and one day, the deer was missing. He didn't come home that day. So Bharat Maharaj went out in great lamentation, searching for that deer. And while he was searching, he fell and died. And then, because he was absorbed in the deer at the time of death, he took birth in the womb of a deer. But because of his advanced stage in his last life, he was entering into Bhava Bhakti, he did not forget like an ordinary person forgets his previous life as soon as he enters another womb. But Bharat Maharaj remembered, and he remembered that he was in Pula, Pulash, what is it? Pulaha Ashram. So he went back to Pulaha Ashram, and there there were many devotees who were reciting and hearing the Shastras. So just as a devotee, but in a dear body, he went and heard from them and gradually he became more and more advanced and gradually that deer became old and now that deer became self-realized so when he took his next birth uh, as the uh, son of a brahmana he was the son of the youngest wife of a brahmana and his name was Bharat uh, Jada Bharat he was called Jada because Jada means dull like myself Jada Rani dull crazy and he used to do everything opposite even though he was born in a Brahmana family and even though he was attempted to be trained by his mother and father and his father had so much affection for him he gave him so much attention but still Bharat Mara, Jada Bharat did everything backwards like first he would bathe and then he would pass stool everything backwards but there was a reason for this because he was now self-realized and he realized also why uh, he had wasted his two previous births as the deer and as Bharat Maharaj because of his attachment to that deer. So he was now very, very careful and he very carefully avoided the association of non-devotees. He didn't want anybody to talk Prajalpa or deviate him from his now absorption in the personality of Godhead. Lord Narayan, and therefore he acted like a crazy person so that nobody would bother to associate with him and engage him in material activities. After his parents passed away, he was now in the association of his brothers and sisters, and they would treat him very poorly and give him, give him very rotten food to eat. But because he was a self-realized soul, he tolerated all that and was very meek and humble. He never protested. Then one day, they told him to take care of their paddy field, like a scarecrow, guarding the place at night so that no dacoits would come and uh, disturb the crops. So it just so happened that that night, um, some dacoits wanted to worship the goddess Kali. And they had a man they had to have an animal man or man animal a man who was just like an animal so that they could offer that man animal in sacrifice to kali to fulfill their material desires so that man animal 
either not one man or... animal. The man who is sacrificed is called Pashu. Pashu, like Pashu an animal. means animal, but not like Bhartwaj, not like animal. No, not not him. Other um, some other man. The first, the person who they cut, the, he was not like animal. Oh, but uh, they are called Pashu, mm -hmm. not animal. Pashu means animal, but he's a man. Who is going to be? Oh, 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 I see. Going to be sacrificed sacrificed like, like an animal. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So that man was escaped. So they were looking for somebody, and they saw, they saw Bar, uh, Bart Maharaj, Jad Bharat, and they thought, oh, this is a perfect person to be sacrificed. He's big and stout and strong. So they captured him and bound him and brought him to the temple of Kali. And he didn't at all protest. And then they fed him very sumptuously, bathed him, decorated him in very beautiful uh, garments and ornamented him just like an animal who's meant to be sacrificed. And then they took a big chopper like a sword and they were just about to cut his head and in the meantime, Kali, who's a, herself a devotee, she's another manifestation of Durga, so she could not tolerate that a Vaishnav would be insulted in any way, what to speak of that way. So she herself, their idea was to feed his blood to Kali, and that would satisfy her and she would fulfill their material desires and give them riches. But instead, that goddess Kali leaped out of the um, statue. The statue broke and Kali burst out of the statue and along with her associates she grabbed the chopper and cut off the heads of the dacoits and then she and her associates drank their blood. And all this time Bharat Maharaj knew, like Maharaj Ambarish in, in the sense that he knew that anything that was happening to him was under the control of the Supreme Lord and that he wasn't his body, so he himself was very tolerant. Then... No, thank you. Okay. You wanted to do some poetry? Yeah, two names only. Today, two devotees received Harinam initiation. Please stand up and Gurudev will announce your name. Say Tanya. Te he distinguible, te estoy contemplando. Tu figura cimera se sigue agrandando. Inmensa es la deuda de los que le damos. Simiente divina que hoy disfrutamos. Avatar insigne, dulce empoderado. De imperio fastuoso con nada empezado. Llegaste a Occidente y con gran elocuencia a los, er, a los eruditos opacaste sus ciencias. ¿Qué ciegos aquellos que de ti supieron para premio Nobel te desconocieron? Ellos favorecen solo sus asuntos, sembraste más paz que todos ellos juntos. Hoy en cada esquina resuenan tus voces, tú fuiste sin duda resumen de dioses. Y aún perdura en el tiempo la enseñanza más hermosa, debemos amar a Krishna, por sobre todas las cosas. Mediocracia. ¿Qué han hecho, Dios mío, de tu gran creación? De las virtudes que diste, no queda una fracción. Ya no se escucha el cántico sonoro glorificando tu nombre como en la época de oro. El hombre no goza de tu beneficio. Ahora el pecado es un nuevo oficio. Demonios terribles ganaron de hecho terreno en el cosmos y en todos los pechos. El oro compra conciencia si todos son sobornables y solo admiten las verdades cuando ellas son agradables. Poesía, belleza, las auténticas artes en la gran hecatombe ya no tienen parte. Tan solo su divina gracia, Narayan Maharaj, puede detener la girante rueda del falso placer. <risa> Thank you.
I can't translate on the same way because the way in Spanish is rhythm and in English it doesn't match. What? You can translate. The beauty, the beauty is lost in the translation. But even if we want to hear. Uh, the first one is for Srila Prabhupada, and it says, Unstinguished light, I am contemplating you. Your great and beautiful figure keeps on growing. Extends is the depth of us who inherited the divine seed that today we enjoy. Exalted, sweet, empowered avatar of a great kingdom with nothing to start off. Very good. You came to West and with great knowledge to the land, you fooled their sciences. How blind those that knew you. Um, you were unknown. Um, sorry. You were unknown to be given a Nobel Prize. The only favor their only businesses. You planted more peace than any of them together. Today, in every corner, your, voices, uh, your voice resounds. And still persists in time the most beautiful teaching, which love Krishna above anything else. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Second one. One more. One more. Another five more. Don't say what, what have they done, my God, of your great creation? Of the virtues you gave, not a fraction is left. No more can we hear the loud sound glorifying your name as in the golden age. Men no longer enjoy your benefit. Now sin is the new job. Terrible demons want place in the universe and in the hearts. Gold buys consciousness and all are prone to cheating. Only admitting truth, truths uh, when they are to their interests. Poetry, beauty, the real arts in the huge final end, they have no play. Um, only his divine grace, Narayan Maharaj, can stop the turning wheel of false pleasure. Uh, I want to uh, see his drama play. Manana. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.